Today we're looking at two different classes of hollow chisel mortisers, a full-size floor standing model versus a more common bench top model. Stick around. Let's start with the smaller bench top mortiser. Compared to a drill press, this certainly will do a lot of work for you. It'll handle those square mortises right off the machine and you don't have to go to the drill press and drill a round hole and then finish up by squaring it up with a chisel. That's kind of an arduous process, especially if you build arts and crafts style furniture and you've got a lot of those mortises to make. On this Delta 14651, there's a nice gear drive to the fence. So it stays parallel to the bit and you can move it forward or back as needed and then lock down the quick fence clamps. The workpiece is held down by means of this fork assembly. You just drop that down to the workpiece and retighten it on the post. So again, that does a fair job at holding the material down, but it really doesn't do anything to hold it tight against the fence. And so when I'm using this machine, I always find myself tightly gripping the material myself by hand, and that just kind of adds to user fatigue if you've got a lot of mortising to do. This model wins points for the swing away access door. Really gives you good access to the chuck for bit changes. Just holds in place with a magnet. There's a cogged assembly on the handle that lets you pull it back and rotate it into the desired position for mortising. All right, let's see how we do with a quarter inch chisel cutting fairly shallow mortises in white oak. So the cut quality is actually pretty good. We're just using a quarter inch chisel here. I was noticing that the machine was walking around on me a little bit. And I recall when I used this as my primary mortiser, I did have it bolted down to the bench top. And that's something you definitely want to do. The most common complaint I hear with bench top mortisers is the workpiece hold down. Now, most of these bench top units won't have a face clamp. There are some exceptions to that rule now, but usually you'll just find a simple forked attachment on the fence that will hold the workpiece down. That's helpful as you retract the bit out of the workpiece. It should hold the material down to the cast iron bed of the machine. However, it doesn't really do anything to hold the workpiece tight against the fence. And that, as it turns out, is really important to keep consistent mortises as you work. Some benchtop units are better. They have roller wheels to prevent that excess movement, or some even have face clamps now. So if I was in the market for a benchtop mortiser, I would definitely be shopping for one with those features. The machine has a little bit of a shorter handle, and that can be an issue just in terms of leverage if you want to do large mortises. But if you typically work in the quarter inch, 5 16 or 3 8 inch mortises, these smaller machines seem to get by just fine. Another issue with the benchtop unit I've run into is chisel compatibility. This particular machine needs to use chisels with a 5 8 inch shank. But there's also a lot of bits out there that come with a 3 quarter inch shank, and you won't be able to use those chisels with this particular machine. And so the larger versions have solved that with chisel adapter sleeves. You can just slide in the adapter that's needed, whether that's a 5 8 a 3 quarters, or some machines even come with a larger adapter sleeve. It just adds to the versatility of the machine and you have a better shot of using the chisels that you've got in the shop. Another issue that comes into play is durability. And so if you see yourself doing a lot of mortises, particularly wide mortises that are half inch or wider, you may kind of reach the limit of what these small benchtop units are capable of. The large machines solve that problem with longer handles, more robust gears and internal components, and just an overall better clamping system. Then let's see what features you get with the full-size stationary mortiser. Notable features are the face clamp with quick release vise. So you give that about a full rotation and that'll snug up and then just quickly loosen it and it's a quick release vise just like you might have on your bench. With this workpiece stop you can swing it into position so it butts up against your workpiece and just lock it down with the wing nuts. That way if you have multiple parts to cut they'll all come out the same. 
If you want to limit the extent of the mortise, just use these little stops down below the table and tighten the wing nut. Now as you move the XY table, you'll be locked into the same dimensions for that mortise you cut. It's great if you have one part or a hundred parts to cut, they all come out the same. Anytime you introduce table movement, you got to wonder what's the accuracy going to be, but I have to say this XY adjustable table has been really solid. The face clamp seems to do a pretty good job, not only at holding the material down, but holding it tightly against the fence. That in turn seems to get you a better mortise wall quality and really consistent cuts. And then three custom modifications I added to my full-size floor mortiser that have really helped the way it works in the shop. This machine, as well as its cousin, the Powermatic, comes with a brass screw. And I've changed that out for a quick-release lever. This actually came from the benchtop version of the Powermatic mortiser. It's got a brass tip on the threaded screw, and it makes changing those chisels out much easier. I use this piece of canvas, which is like a dust cape, and it's held in place with magnets. Does a nice job of keeping the dust and chips off of the dovetail ways below. And finally, I added a self-adhesive piece of sandpaper to the front of the clamping block. That does a nice job to increase friction, really hold the workpiece in place. The fold-down doors on the jet aren't quite as handy, but they do give you reasonable access to the chuck. And you get a much longer 26 inch handle on the full size mortiser. These are the chisel adapter sleeves that are so great. They're handy because they let you use different size chisel shanks. Whether you have 5 8 or 3 quarter inch chisels, they both work just fine. There's a handy check key holder on this jet, which is basically the same machine as the Powermatic, except for the Powermatic has a tilting table. You also get a depth stop on the larger machines, and that's kind of nice because you can use a brass setup bar to set a specific depth of mortise. The most interesting revelation I had about using these two different machines for years now is the same cheap chisels that I had such trouble with on the smaller mortiser actually perform beautifully on the full size version. I think it's just how well the large units hold the workpiece in place with that face clamp. There's no chance for that material to move and so you're much less likely to bend or break a chisel. Just something to think about as you're shopping for these machines. I think if you're going to use this machine much and you're going to do a lot of mortises, it just may pay to go for the larger unit. That said, if you're currently using a drill press and chisel, certainly getting into the game with a benchtop unit can be a great place to start. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. These are my thoughts. These are my mortiser thoughts. Don't forget sharpening comb. Choo 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 choo